Sunday through Friday, wind chill values may drop into the single digits across northern sections of the Mid-South for Thursday and Friday mornings. There is a threat for wintry precipitation across parts of the Mid-South Monday night through Friday. However, timing and amount remain uncertain for now. Please refer to the latest forecast from your local weather authority in the coming days for details regarding the evolution of the cold air surge and any potential wintry weather. The city of New Albany is proud to be a Tree City USA community for 16 years. Local elections. New Albany now has 21 people seeking the city's seven elective offices. The two newest qualifiers are Park Smith, running as an independent for Ward 1, Alderman, and Jeff Knox, running as a Republican for Alderman at Large. Primary elections will be April 6th, and the general election will be June 8th. Looking to start a business in New Albany, Mississippi? The best place to start is with our city's building inspectors. They know all of the codes, ordinance, and contacts. They can help you get your business off to a great start. Union County Board of Supervisors held a meeting February 1st. You can watch the meeting on the Kenny S. Studio Facebook page or read details about the meeting at northeastmississippi.news. The next scheduled meeting of the board will be at 10 a.m. Tuesday, February 16th rather than the usual Monday meeting, February 15th, because of President's Day. Remember that playwriting bake-off? Five wonderful short plays were received from five different writers. Saturday, February 27th at 7 p.m., we will be presenting them via virtual staged readings, live over Zoom. We're looking for actors. If interested in being a reader, please contact Miss Emily at emily at visitnewalbany.com or at 662-266. 0796. Actors must be able to access Zoom from their own home device and be available for a rehearsal or two before Saturday, February 27th. Rehearsals will likely be the week of February 22nd through the 26th. Governor Tate Reeves has extended the mask mandate for 75 counties until March 3rd.